officially let us down. We got the tow truck towing us because my drive shaft came apart. Um, so, yeah, that's super fun. We failed about 10 seconds into a gnarly burnout, and uh, I'm pretty heartbroken, man. I've had so many people helping me. We worked so hard, and it just failed, but that's life, I guess. Sometimes you just don't get what you want, and no matter how hard you work, life just kicks you when you're down. But we're here, we're out here. We tried to put on a good show. We ran a personal best of 11.7 in the quarter mile, so it is what it is. There you have it boys, the bug is finally back in the shop. It has been about three months since my last video, since LS Fest West 2023. If you haven't seen that video, you should go back and check it out. We broke the bug really bad. So, we're getting the bug on the lift and we're gonna go dive into it. Every single time I pull a non-running car into this shop, up that stinking grade of a driveway, I tell myself, I need friends and I need to mount a stinking 12 volt winch on the ground right there so that I can just winch the car in. But I don't have money for it, so I never do. And then I'm all sweaty and tired for the rest of the video. So, we are going to get this guy on the lift and check out the brutal damage that we did at LS Fest. As you can see, we left the trail, and uh, this is the first time I've been under the car since LS Fest. I actually laid on the ground and looked, but you can't get a very good view. Uh, so this is the first time I have it on the lift. And boys, we got some damage. <laughs> we broke, sorry for the harsh lighting, we broke the, s the snout off the T-case, and See if we can get up in there and you can see it. We actually, see if we'll focus. Right where my flashlight's pointing, let's see. Right there. Wow. You can see right here that that adapter transmount is split. That is crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. I'll get some better light in a minute. But uh, we are going to start disassembly on this. So we know we obviously smoked the T-case. We smoked that adapter right there. Um, the trans, the bell housing is actually broken. Wow. Okay, this trans is smoked. The bell housing is broken all the way around. Wow. All right, when we get it out, I'll show you. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. <laughs> wow. That'll do it. This is going to be a lot more to fix than I anticipated. This car is going to be down for a hot minute. Whew. That is cooked. So, we are going to pull our torsion bar cross member, get the T-case out, get the trans pulled out real quick. I... 
genuinely won't even have to, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I won't even have to pull any bell housing bolts, guys. This is crazy. So I should have this out in like record time. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get some lighting and jump into that. It is a couple days later and boys, I am struggling. I got one torque converter bolt that stripped off. One torque converter bolt. I've tried everything. It's a 15 millimeter and for whatever reason, all the extractor socket sets are 14 and then they jump to 16. They do not have a 15 millimeter. It is maddening. So I uh, bought some really nice vice grips. That didn't work. I'm gonna heat the living heck out of it with my map gas keep trying the vice grips and uh, see what we can do because I need to get this dropped. But well, I, I don't know, I'll probably be back with you guys when I get it out. Well, uh, that's not supposed to be there. Let me pull it out and uh, show you guys what's left. Well boys, it is safe to say that we did some damage at LS Fest. Um, let me show you the new Smitty Edition 3-piece 4L80 bell housing. So, here we have it. Perfect, like it never even happened. Um, and then it is also broken right there. You can see the crack all the way down. And then we have a third small piece kicking around here somewhere. This little guy that went on something like that. Right there. Oops, there we go. So, three piece bell, ho ugh, three -piece bell housing. And uh, with the four L80s, they're not removable. I do have a buddy that is really good at TIG welding and we talked about welding it up and plating it and supporting it, but I think it's safe to say that this trans case is smoked. We also smoked the adapter from the back of the trans to the T case. There's the other half there right there. And we absolutely cooked our T case. So it was a very, very violent ride at LS Fest, but it was a party and it was absolutely worth it. Um, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in so, so long, but I've been working on my wife's car. We got her a car that I'm going to show you guys very soon, and uh, it had an engine failure, and I've been dealing with that basically since LS Fest. But, as you can see, we got the bug ready to go. I'm going to make a parts list, and we are going to get on it. There are a couple races this year that I really want to get to, and a couple of YouTubers I'm trying to collab with, so hopefully we can source a trans and we can get the bug back on the road and go rip some nine second passes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Even when you create a three piece bell housing where it shouldn't be, don't forget to stay hungry, stay humble, stay motivated. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.